All right, welcome back to another. This pack is busted. Another Rivals of Innistrad Shadows over Ixalan draft. Um, Baffling End, Brontodon, Hunt the Weak, Impale, and Water Knot. I'm pretty sure it's Warkite Marauder here, but this pack is pretty stacked. Yeah, butts and stuff. Good games, man. Appreciate that. Wow, this is this is a pack, all right. Pretty sure it's not a green card. I think it's just Warkite Marauder. This card's great. It's a 2-1 flyer. It's a pirate. Has a really strong ability. Oof. Yeah, I think it's I think it's Warkite. Pretty easily to be quite honest, but I think it's also fine in blue black because you can moment of craving their guys. Hey, buddy, you want a negative two, negative two? You're an 01? Sounds good. That pack was great, though. There's going to be a lot of things for a lot of people. Hey, it's again. Don't stop the streaming. Hold on to that feel. <laughs> Don't stop the streaming. Oh, another Impale? Uh, Brian, I didn't take Impale because I don't like four mana double. Like, it's four mana. I think Impale is great. I think it's one of the best removal spells in the format, but I don't want a second pick it or first pick it right after I just played a, uh, I think this format is, uh, there's a lot of going wide in this format. And if you can go wide, you're more, you're more immune to things like impale. This pack's actually great because we can go resplendent Griffin or we can go merfolk Mistbinder, or we can go impale. So we can either go merfolk blue, white or blue, black here. And there's also Luminous Bonds, which is which might be better than the Griffin, to be quite honest. This is actually pretty tricky. There's also a Sailor of Memes. My god. My god. This card seems like it's probably the best card in the pack, and I think we haven't gotten Merfolk a lot. We could take Daring Buccaneer, too. I'm going to go with Merfolk because we haven't been Merfolk for quite a while. And maybe we just want to try some Merfolk. Aggressive Urge, Knight of the Stampede, or River Darter. Darter. Also, attacking with Warkite Marauder and then playing anything like Pounce or Savage Stomp or Hunt the Weak just automatically kills whatever you're going for. So, yeah, I, I don't think River Darter is a strong third pick by any means, but I also, this is probably the only card that's better than River Darter. So, I like Strength of the Pack way more than other people seem to, which is really interesting. Like, this card just... I mean, like, when you get to the certain... When you get to this point, the card just, like, breaks the game, I think. The, not the, not, the, not Magic Online. It's not like it's breaking Magic Online, but it breaks the, the particular game you're in, especially if you're going wide to something like Merfolk. I think this is a fine pick. I think we can get more aggressive urges, but there's probably going to be another Strength of the Pack right here because people just don't seem to like that card. I wish I got more to drink. River Farter, huh, Chris? That's pretty good. Chris, tell she Chris I said hi. Uh, most of N1 caps, most of the drafts I do uh, end up on YouTube. So, possibly. By, by that, I mean yes. It will be on YouTube. You can find me at youtube.com slash franklapore. I will take this hunt the week. Can we get some merfolk here? sweet then i can sleep <laughs> nice all right well i'm glad i can help you sleep then also if you guys want to support the channel uh subs and follows are definitely appreciated i ha i stream typically f at least five days a week mo sometimes more than once a day i've actually streamed three times today we, we streamed freshly brewed this morning i streamed a standard league this afternoon and then now i'm just streaming uh, a couple drafts so Oh, what up, Willie G? Um, I think this is a better Merfolk than this. So I'll take this. 
One, two, three, four, five. So one card's coming back, so we're not going to see anything out of that pack. Jungleborn Pioneer, eighth pick. I, I like Archer Raska as well, but we're not passing a Jungleborn Pioneer when we're when we're Merfolk babies. Jade Bear and Jade Craft Artisan. We'll take the Jade Bear. Naturalize, yes, please. Relevant sideboard card. I am telling you that you could have been watching me on Twitch instead of on YouTube. I think you I think you messed up, buddy. Oh, Aggressive Urge comes back. I don't know if we'll play two, but I like having two because maybe we will. Chris, did you tell she Chris I said hi? Can she hear me? Should I say it? Hi, she Chris. I agree. Juposhi, I agree completely. When cards like Naturalize and Seal of Cleansing end up being really relevant, I think this is definitely one of those formats because it actually, it makes more picks in the in the packs relevant. And I think that's good. Oh, another one. And a Mastermind's Acquisition. I'm not going to play three. I'll just take the Acquisition. I just rare drafted that. Oh, a Negate. I like a Negate. Oh, a Gruesome Fate. I like a, I like a Gruesome Fate. Fates and the gates. Also, what you guys are like, I, I like to I'll flip on more Frank when I'm playing my 40k. That's so I, that's such a cool feeling when you guys just watch in the background. That's actually totally fine by me. It's like I'm hanging out with you guys. Really. I got to make someone real happy right now by taking this Jungleborn Pioneer. Can you imagine if we took first pick and pale, second pick and pale, and then we'd have just the the, the, the nut profane, profession, profane procession draft again? Roland, Roland Afghan, exactly what I'm thinking. Oh, Fushinu Panic. That's rude, buddy. How dare you? Oh, I think we're just taking Jungleborn Pioneer. This card's so good. God, I'm passing a profane procession to someone. But again, this is a perk of being in a league that this is the opposite of the love leagues comment where it's like, well, I do love this, this aspect of the league because now I know I'm probably not going to play against this. So I'm disincentivized to hate draft it. Kumina's Awakening is probably exactly what I want to be doing in this Merfolk deck. Curious Obsession also great, but Kamina's Obsession is pretty strong. I'm going to take Kamina's Obsession. Water Knot? Oh, another Impale? Good lord. Is this card just not appreciated? Water Knot, Crashing Tide, or Guilt Grove Stalker? I like Crashing Tide a lot. I think it might be Water Knot, though. I could even see Siren Reaver, but I think it's Water Knot. HUD man, thank you so much for saying so. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm pretty sure we just take the Siren Reaver, but... Dear God. I like another Jungleborn Pi... Ooh, Swift Warden, actually. I think it might be Swift Warden here. This is three cards I want in one pack. God, our I think our black black white deck would have been utterly ridiculous at this point. 
I want to take Warden because it's a unique effect. I can get like there's like two more fight effects in in Ixalan alone: Savage Pounce, Savage Stomp, and Pounce. Whereas Warden's pretty unique. It's also a three three for four with Flash, which is kind of like a uh, yeah. Alenda is only like a dollar fifty right now. If it was a foil, I would have taken it because it's fourteen tickets. But Deep Root Elite get rewarded. Easy pick. Wow. You don't hate draft me, I won't hate draft you. Deal. Every once in a while I stalk my calendar, you can say I hunt the week. Wow. Why doesn't XL play Pine on more maps? That's a good question, Willie G. Yeah, I actually would not. If this wasn't a league, I probably would have hate-drafted both of those cards. And I would have hate-drafted all of the Impales and all of, like, the Luminous Bonds. And I basically would have just been playing blue-white. Black-white. Nailed it. I think even our deck looks really good, though. We got Warkite Marauder, Deeper Elite, Kumina's Awakening... Little cutie. We do get Crashing Tide. Alright, we were upset about passing this, but now we just get it, so. Another Jade Bearer. We have not seen any of the the, the one-drop unblockable guys, which is unfortunate. Aquatic Incursion, a card I would actually play. I don't hate it. Plus it gives us three permanents for Ascend, which is nice. Uh, I think Darter is mediocre, whereas Jade Bearer triggers things like Deep Root Elite, and it also puts a counter. Like, I like the one-drops in this deck. We're also trying to play a bunch of dudes for Ascend. The counter is pretty relevant, especially when it's a 2-2 for Miss, 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 Merfolk Mistbinder. Um... It's just soul here. I don't think it's a third jade bear. It might be a plum. It's either plummet or soul, I think. Yeah, I like plummet better. I think we can get flyers if we want them. Mm, take another negate. Oh, we got another soul. All right, cool. Oh my god. Wow. This is exactly what we wanted, especially with deeper elite. And oh my god, that's so good. Really? Second to last pick Jungleborn Pioneer? Please. Our deck looks great now. Look at our... These are our two pirates. Really? How many times do I have to open this piece of junk? Apparently a lot. That's That's what we're discovering. Could be Raptors. I don't. I don't think Raptors are great in a deck like this. Could be Run Aground just to have the the Run Aground. I think Run Aground's pretty good. Could be one with the Wind. Also not bad if we got a Hexproof guy like a Soul. But I think this is early to take a Sculptor. I'd probably take a Run Aground over a over a Storm Sculptor this early. You guys like one with the Wind over Run Aground? Because I feel like I feel like one of them lost a lot of value because I think there's a lot more removal because of Exelon arrivals. We'll open the hexproof four drop. All right, let's. I'm gonna just take it. I think it's good enough. Like it was one of my picks, but I was leaning towards run aground. But this is actually cheaper, so we're gonna take it. It does have to be answered. I and mean, if we put on like a soul, it's just a it's just a bane slayer angel at that point. We also got the Hexproof guys. Wow. <laughs> That's cute. I'm just going to take Water Trap Weaver. Uh, I think it's better than River Darter here, so... Easy, easy replacement.
I don't even know what's going on in this draft anymore. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just Dreadmaw here, but splash it. <laughs> I mean, if we had like three Sailor of Means, I would be real tempted to splash it for those two colors, but. It's either Dreadmaw or Storm Sculptor. I don't even like Storm Sculptor that much. I guess we can bounce a Jungleborn Pioneer. It's probably better than Dreadmaw. I like this guy because he can block the float. I don't care about looter. I don't care about pirates, really. Yeah, I definitely don't care about that. Um, yeah, we'll just take Moloch here. Whiptail, Grazing Whiptail, Whiptail Moloch. I'm thinking of the wrong Whiptail. Growing rights. Oh, River Herald's Boon. Not even close. Not close. If we can get one more of these, I think our deck is just over the top. Boneyard Parlay. I just like this card. I think I want to take this. I'm not going to play. I doubt I'll play Cobbled Wings. Maybe I'll play Cobbled Wings. Uh, I like Perilous Voyage as well. Double Primal Amulet. That's pretty interesting, I guess. I'm sure this has to be better than something else that's in our deck right now. Probably better than the second Aggressive Urge. Especially when we have Boone. Hudman, glad you caught me live. Appreciate it, buddy. This will also likely be going on YouTube, so... I think our deck is looking pretty good right now. 13 creatures, but also uh, lots of things to do. Whatever, I'll take Prying Blade. These picks aren't great right now. Hmm. Oh, the run ground came back. Wow. Okay, seems good. Mm, skullduggery, whatever. And after zero three thirty one twenty eighteen. All right, let's start. We also have Negate, Negate, Plummet, and Naturalize, which are probably some of the best uh, sideboard cards we can get. This is 24 lands, or 24 cards. We need to cut one thing. Probably not a creature. I would play 16 lands. We have Strength of the Pack, which is a little scary. We actually, I'll just play 41 cards. I feel better about that. We were going to do it last time. We'll just do it this time instead. We'll do 41. I like all the cards in the deck. I think this deck is basically done. I don't think we have to change anything. We were building it as we went. Uh, let's see what we need one more of. Green? Sounds good. 41 card special, as, as they say. Which excellent try would make the best flesh pizza and why is it Murph? Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Would it not be dinosaurs? I mean, it depends on what dinosaur meat tastes like and if you like that better than fish. I guess.
Really? This is how you're going to be? Sure. Bottom. Dinosaurs is too obvious. Well, there's only four. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh my god, Brian. <laughs> Everybody's eating dinosaurs. So watch, we're just going to play against the, the deck that we just passed too, I bet. Oh god. It's all over, guys. Not a fan. Honestly curious what chupacabra tastes like. Why are you like this, Chuposhi? Why are you the way that you are? I'll name a vampire. Pirate? Okay. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Now that song's stuck in my head. That's pretty good. Sure. I'll take f six. And then we're going to hunt those weaklings. We just put one with the, we put one with the wind on the bottom, so we can't actually draw that. That would be a sweet draw, though. We can go one with the wind, hunt the weak, attack for nine. Sure. Why do you keep having things? Sure. Can't take six again here, unfortunately. Yeah, we're just going to trade here. I don't really feel like that guy drawing you a card every turn. Man, this was not a great draw for us. Any Merfolk is pretty good. Jungleborn, Jungleborn buddy is good. All right, well. That's not a jungle born buddy. I don't know how we win this, actually. This is pretty bad. We're just going to go to the next game. We know we're drawing Boon, and we just don't have the aggression to... Uh... Like, even if we give plus one, plus one to both, it just doesn't do what we want it to do. Plummet's good, because you saw at least one flyer, but... It might be better than, like, run aground for four mana. Actually, we saw two flyers, so... Really? I'll keep this hand. Oh, Whiptail would have been good. Good call. I like Whiptail. 
That was a good draw. We're actually going to try to... We're just going to bounce whatever they play here to try to hit something, and they don't play anything. Where are all our three drops? Oh my god, we have like a million three drops. Okay, well. Easy peasy, Japanesey. Tempted to just play Jade Bear and put one with the wind on it, to be quite honest with you. I think we're fine without that, though. I don't think that... I don't think that's great. I think if we don't throw anything now, we will, but... All right, that's pretty good. <laughs> I would even Perilous Voyage this guy to save him if I have to, but now Jay Bearer is pretty much insane. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. All right, we just win. Cool. That was a good game. What up, Platero, man? What is with these hands, man? All right, we'll keep this one. Can't be greedy there. We're definitely saving Jade Bearer at this point for uh, Jungle Born Pioneer. Uh, a lot of interest in Modern after the unbannings. If, if for no other reason, then it's... Uh, an un an unsolved format, so I brag my friends when we watch home meme videos that I have this Twitch streamer that utilizes them beautifully. Awesome. That is awesome. Love it. Okay, a green would be great here, because then we can go uh Jade Bear, Jade Bear one with the win next turn on this guy, which is pretty insane. As long as you don't play Squire's Devotion, huh? Am I right? Am I right or am I right? Have you ever looked at the end of your arms and asked, what's up with these hands, man? I totally did that the other day, man. That sounds weird, I bet. Everybody walk the dinosaur. So we're not attacking. We're just going to make that dude an O. Oh my God. So it's an O1, but then it becomes a 2-2. Two -two. So we could... Tr oh, God. That's so, so dumb. Ned, Ned Ryerson. I feel like now we just attack. Whatever, if you want to trade, we'll trade. Kamina's Awakening would be amazing here. That's cute. But alas, it was not a Kamina's Awakening.
sure. And they finally get a land? Yeah, they do. A blue, no less. That's pretty sad. Well, these lands are not doing us any favors, that's for sure. Where's a river herald's boon when you need it? That's my question. <laughs> I feel like we actually are playing against the person we passed to. Wow. I will pretty much trade with any of your guys, so... Sure. Really looking for a bounce spell to get rid of this Alenda, but they have seven cards in their hand. That's pretty good. I'll take four here. Sure. Seems fine. That's a two for one. All right, so we uh, basically drew nine lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, and nine spells, but we're playing significantly more lands than spells. That's pretty bad. <laughs> sure. Yeah, this is just out of control right now. We're just throwing guys away, unfortunately. We really need an answer for this Alenda. Okay, I'm just, I'm done. Maybe not done, I don't know. We're just gonna be throwing guys away. We have no, like, this is frustrating. Okay. Sure. Cool. All right. Done. All three of these were, were just super fun games. <laughs> This is the one thing I don't like about the blue-green archetype is that you literally have to rely on bounce spells and fight spells to deal with creatures like that. Like, we have one Water Knot in our deck, which doesn't actually remove her from the battlefield. So if she's like a 10-7 and they find a way to sacrifice her or kill her, they still get 10 one ones. Like, really wondering if I just should have kept it. <laughs> if I just should have hate-drafted the, the Alenda 
in a in a league draft because I don't want to deal with it. I'm not sure the odds of me actually facing her is like pretty small, I imagine. This hand seems fine. All right, that's enough lands. Six is good, thank you. That's a good draw. Likely the best draw we could have gotten there. And our opponent misses, and we hit a land. <laughs> so, all right. I want to actually put the other counter on this guy to avoid moment of craving. Yep. <sighs> oh boy. I guess it's a good thing our opponent did not hit lands because I don't know how we win this game otherwise. Oh, I, I, I put the wrong one on the wrong one. Okay. Well, that's good. Wait, no, I didn't. I clicked the wrong one. We're good. <clears throat> we managed. Our hand has four lands right now. <laughs> Eight lands, three spells. All right. Well, we'll have to make it count, I guess. Pretty sure we just take a land out and, and run 16 lands with one six drop and one five drop. At this point, I don't care, and I just want to finish the game, so. If you want to kill, like, if you want to block in the moment of craving and go to 10, I'd rather just keep both of these guys, so. We're going to water knot. Going down. Going down to 16 lands, because that's how you do. <laughs> Mama said not you out. Oh, of course we got a really good hand here. Maybe this is a 16 land format. Maybe I'm just Maybe I just have to believe it. Wow. All right. Seems good. Not only does this guy get in there no matter what they play, uh, presuming they don't play a, a flying two, two drop, but this guy's also better in the later game when we have cards like this, so... Shorekeeper. More like butt keeper, am I right? He's right. The Shadows, have a good night, buddy. Wow, our opponent is getting wrecked here and is not it is not fair. Yeah, this is a quick match. Like you do. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, what a costly plunder. All right, well, that was a uh, uneventful round. I'm actually going to take one land out because I don't even like, I don't even, I ain't even about these lands. I also miss Vintage Cube, but thankfully, next Wednesday on February 28th, the Legacy Cube is back on Magic Online. So if you guys haven't subscribed or followed, be sure to do that because... We are going to be streaming a ton of Legacy Cube. Sing some songs that remind them of the good times. You sing some songs that remind them of the best times. Oh, Danny boy. Now we get one land. Mulligan. Keep. Bottom. Give me that forest one time so I can go this guy into this guy. That's all I want. I'm not even asking for a lot. Okay. Well, give me two forests now. Now I'm asking for more. I'm getting greedy here. No? Okay. Thank you. And then we couldn't play Magic the Gathering. Doot, doot, doot. Meanwhile, my opponent has all three of their colors. That's pretty good. Cool, dude. Uh, likely not going to be drafting again after this. It's almost... It's getting late. Getting tired. We did two drafts. Did some standard earlier. Probably draft, Probably streamed about eight hours today in total. Oh, look at that. We did it. This guy's just going to come down first. If we draw another green, we just get to go one, two, three, four counters. That's pretty good. Come on, green. No blocks, because I'm not crazy. Yep, that's pretty good. Get wreckied, you scrub, lol. Touche. All right. And this guy. So, deeper elites on the stack. Put them both on deep root. I mean, we're going to take a hit from uh, Dead Eye Rig Hauler here, but uh, my rent is so low because it's uh, I have roommates, so not just my not just my rent total. Like, it's not like I don't live in a we don't miss binder because we can we can chump block here and we can block here, so it, it makes them only attack with Dead Eye Rig Hauler. So if we play miss binder though. We have a two-two and a three th and a two-two, and we just don't want to block anything. So they're fine with trading either of these guys for either of these guys. We can put the counter on the misbinder and still block here, which is still pretty good. But oh, come on! All right, we did it. Okay, now I feel like we're stabilizing here. Maybe. Next turn we get Mistbinder and Swift Warden if we want it. That seems good. Can you not play a third Dead Eye Rig Hauler? That would be nice.
Seems good. And then we just pass, keep up Swift Warden because, uh, you know, big money grip. What's going on, buddy? Play Hunt the Week so we can Swift Warden. So we saw no flyers, but we did see Baffling and, and Pious Interdiction, so we're definitely bringing in Naturalize. And that, okay. Well, that's pretty good for us. The old triple enchantments, huh? Okay. Da 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 da. That's cool. That's a cool dude. So you got a two two and no other guys. All right. move well that was good that turned around naturalize comes in run aground comes out I feel like I don't even care with one with the wind. I'd rather just have something like uh, Grazing Whiptail here. Maybe a Negate, actually. They got a bunch of spells. It's kind of like a Naturalize. Yeah, I like that. Meh. How are these six card hands so much better than the uh oh god I really want this, but I don't think it's good against them. Yeah, I actually do like Storm Sculptor for that reason. That's actually pretty good. I like Whiptail because it just blocks everything they have, but uh Storm Sculptor is definitely an option. I actually want both of these. Hmm. 
<laughs> I'm still working on it. Wow. Yeah, we'll take two here. Sure. Wow, missed the land drop. Okie dokie. Okay. But not for long, my future is coming on, is coming on. The Dude Lebowski, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. Really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, take four. Yeah, I can take four here. Sure. Yeah, that was a pretty good draw. Linner519, three months in a row. Thank you so much, dude. Welcome back. I mean, if you alpha here, you're just dead. All right, you're just dead anyway. That'll do. All right, sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, slam those like and subscribe buttons for me if you like the content. I will see you next time. And uh, thanks for the support. Really appreciate it. Have a good night, afternoon, whenever, whenever it may be. And look for new videos every 11 a.m. Eastern time here on YouTube.